Hey beauty gang and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Husky TV. Today we are back with a new video and today's hair is sponsored by Weskis Hair. Now before we show you, uh, before I show you this wig, they did send me a few goodies inside of the packaging. Everything that I just showed you on camera. And of course, the most importantly is the wig, okay? I love Weskis Hair. I, um, you know, I've dealt with them many, many times before. All of their hair was always great quality, nice and full density and true to length. And for today's video, they just sent me a straight wig. I'm sorry, not a straight wig. Oh my God, y'all. A body wave wig. What the hell is my mind? <laughs> but they sent me this body wave wig. It is 26 inches and it is 200% density. And it is a full HD, full parting lace frontal wig, 13 by four. So 13 inches wide, part back four inches deep. And just jumping straight into the video, I went ahead off camera, did me a little light beat because today I was going to my mom's B-Day dinner. So I was like, yeah, I gotta slap this wig on and hurry up and get home and get dressed. So today's look will be cute and simple and you know, just straight to the point. So for starters, I'm gonna place the wig on my head and just go ahead and cut off the extra lace. And then once I finish, well, not the extra lace on the sides, let me make that very clear. So once I finish cutting that extra lace off the side of the ear, I will go ahead and begin to apply my foundation and I will be using the Ruby Kisses palette in the level 15 and just using that darker shade. And then I'll proceed to go in with my layers of glue. But once I have all of my layers on there, I will go ahead and begin to tack down the wig and we will get straight into the meltdown. gonna go ahead and place that lace right into that glue and I kind of put it behind the uh, glue a little bit and I realized it so I had to pick it back up and place it past the glue and that is a mistake that most beginners make so I don't even know why I made that beginner mistake but I will correct it so make sure you pick that lace up you see I noticed it right here so I was like uh-uh but -uh, we can't have them issues so I'm gonna pick that lace up and place it more past uh, the hairline that way I will um, be able to really like melt you know, it down the way I need to and cover all that up. So I'm gonna pick it back up and then push it back down. And then now I feel so much better about the placement. So once I do that, I will go ahead and um, um, blow dry the lace on the heat setting. And then once I'm done with that, I will tie it down with the melt belt. So while that melt belt is uh, sitting on the hairline, I'm just gonna kinda like pre-part the wig. And when I tell y'all today, it was just really like I gotta hurry up and go. It was definitely like I gotta hurry up and go type of tutorial. So we're still gonna make this like, um, you know, part of the Slay series, but 
you know, it's very simple. And when I tell y'all, like, I really only focus on one side of my hair today, I literally only focus on one side because I had to do my hair in basically under an hour to be on time for my mom's dinner. And y'all know when you are doing lace, especially, uh, especially trying to perfect it, it does take some time. But with me being under pressure and a short amount of time to get this done, I think I did a great job, but y'all let me know down below, period. So I'm going to do a side part. I kind of wanted to do it um, kind of curved a little bit, um, but I have done like this look before with a wig, but what I decided to do is make the baby hairs a little more dramatic this time because I really love how my baby hairs came out and it was actually unintentional. So it's like whenever I'm in a rush, that's when I just be doing some really cute stuff. So, um, however, I'm just gonna go in with that fresh razor and I'm just gonna razor off all of that extra lace. And if I need it, I will take it down. And if I don't, then it has to go. And anything else that's still lifting that I need to tap down, I will go ahead and do that. But I'm just going to raise off that extra lace, raise it off. And then once we do that, we will get into more details of the style. Okay, you guys, so what I'm going to do next is repart my hair once again. I don't know why I um, messed up my part, but I'm going to just try to, like, um, start to press it out. So I'm going to add some wax stick and, of course, go in with the hot comb because we got to get this looking like something. Now, when I mentioned I was running late, y'all, I was really running late. So I'm still going to, you know, spray the hairline down, add more foundation, you know, going with my second melting process step. But I'm literally only going to do baby hairs on one side of my head. Like the other side, they not finna see none of that over there. So I'm not going to waste my time and be sitting here plucking out no baby hairs and cutting and curling and swooping and styling because they're literally not going to see anything on that side. But of course, even with a client, if they um, are getting a side part, I still, you know, do the baby hairs on both sides. But, but for me, for today, because I am on a press for time, and I could not miss that dinner. Plus, I was hungry. I ate all day. So I was like, you know what? We're going to slay this hair, dude. They ain't even going to know it's going to be kind of half dead. And it's still going to come out really, really bomb. So what I'm doing now is just pulling down the baby hair section for this side of my head. I'm parting off the hair in the back so it can cover up those tracks. Y'all know it is a lace front wig, so it does have tracks in the back. And I'm just going to hot comb and just smooth all of that down all around my parting area so it could be nice and sleek and once I do that I'm going to you know plait my baby hair section out the way um add more foundation and spray it with a tresemme another tresemme I actually use um the Eden spray and then once I do that you know tie that down once again
and I'm just going in with my foundation and just tapping it across the hairline. And then I'm going to go in with that even spray, spray the hairline down and tie it down with that melt belt for a few minutes until it is completely dry. And then we will finish up the styling. So I will have to, of course, you know, do the baby heads and then do the loose curls on the end. I decided to just let the melt band just stay on my head until I was completely done with the curling. So, my y'all, the hair, like, I would really, if I really had the time, let me say this, I would have made the wig, like, bone straight first and then curled it. So, it could be, like, more neater, like, as far as, like, the back and stuff. But when I tell y'all, I just really had to hurry up and go. I really had to hurry up and go. So, I'm just going to just curl, you know, grab pieces and curl it. And then just go in with the um, the iron afterwards and just try to, like, press out the top part just a little bit. Or at least where I can see, um, like, the waves in it. Because, you know, it is a body wave wig. And I did let it air dry. And I knew I wanted to, you know, add curls to my style of course but to really have the full time that i needed to execute the look i didn't have today unfortunately but this install still came out bomb the out of like the overall look still came out bomb and i was loving it so i'm just going to continue to grab up the pieces and using my prima 3000 just curl 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 this stuff up like just grab pieces and curl up as much as i can and then i will show you guys how i created my little dramatic baby hairs to mention when I actually came to the curls I was actually curling the, um, the hair in both directions some I curled away from the face some I curled towards the face so it was kind of like a mixture of both curls in it so I don't think I just curled everything one way like I was mixing it up curling some to the front curling some to the back just wherever I felt it needed to be but of course when I got to this top part I really had to go like in with little sections because you know it's the front it's the top it has to be neat so I was grabbing pieces and taking my time and really curling those um, pieces away from my face. That way it could be like that drop loose curl type of look. So um, once I do, you know, finish with that, I will go back in and grab other little pieces. And then I will go ahead and remove that melt belt and show you guys how I did the baby hairs. And for the baby hairs today, y'all, I just used holding spray. I kind of wanted to do like that soft looking, fluffy type of baby hairs. So I did not use my gel today. I just went in with some um, holding spray.
you see it the curls is done i did it the best i could try to keep it nice and loose and cute all right that's done so let's get to the grand finale the make or break because i really feel like baby hairs make or break your hairstyle like your hair could be so laid and if you mess them baby hairs up you just mess up your whole entire style it ain't even gonna matter how flat how late it is you mess up them baby hairs baby it's a wrap so i said you know what i already kind of have did my head already so i know i gotta make sure if nothing else don't be popping them baby hairs got to be popping, okay? So I went real dramatic. Even though it's a little bit I have sectioned over here on the side, I said I'm going real dramatic today. So I went ahead and cut the baby hairs, um, well, you know, combed out my two little sections. And then I went ahead and, you know, and chopped it down. You got to comb it out because that, that eating hold this spray, baby. That hold this spray ain't no joke, baby. It's going to secure a, it's gonna secure a week if they don't do nothing else. It's going to have that thing locked and loaded into place, okay? But anyways, I went in with the razor. I chopped down a sideburn first. And then I went ahead and started chopping the rest of it. And then I'm going to go in with my small little edge curler and curl those things um, underneath. And then once I curl this thing underneath, I'm going to kind of like comb it out with my edge brush. And the way that it was just like flowing when I combed it with the edge brush, I was like, yeah, today we just going to go dramatic because I don't see me just doing neat and all that. And it's so crazy because I showed you guys the glueless gel because I thought I was going to use it. But then once I, once I seen how like fluffy the baby hairs was looking, once I curled it and combed it out, I was like, oh no, baby, we doing these soft dramatic baby hairs. So there I go with the curler grabbing the pieces curling it underneath grabbing the pieces curling it underneath so now i'm gonna go ahead and take the um edge brush comb them out brush them out and i see how they was being soft and flowy so once i finished with that i just started adding that holding spray and got this swooping and duping okay period So now I pretty much have a rough draft of how I want my desired look to be. So my next step will be to go in with that holding spray and just apply the holding spray at the root. I just like to do it at the root to kind of keep the pattern in place and the rest I just let it go with the flow and just be fluffy. So whenever I do like my soft dramatic baby hair is exactly how I do it. I just focus on getting that um, hard product on the root of the um, baby hair and then I just let the rest, I just comb it and let it just go with the flow and you know the ends just flip and do whatever so that's basically what i'm gonna do until i get a desired finished look that i'm looking for and then all of that will be left for me to do is conceal my part that finishes that period yes ow ow love my hair love my hair so yes and like i mentioned y'all the last thing for me to do was just go on with that little concealer and conceal that part up just to make it a little more bold and clean and voila we is finished 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 period so that pretty much sums up this look i absolutely love it the dramatic baby hairs quick side part you know half did it but it still came out looking good looking good period so this is what i looked like when i sat in the car and said let me do a little quick little car selfie and then of course i did another car selfie on our way to perry's steakhouse my mom's b-day dinner and yes thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys on the next tutorial